Hi, my name is Nick Tran, and I was born on May 1st, 2001 in Fountain Valley, California, but I was raised in Cypress, California. Chapter 1, An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar. This may sound funny, but if I were to compare myself to anything, it would be a simple rock. Like a rock, I blend in with the crowd and never do anything out of the ordinary. As boring as that sounds to others, I am happy with my life and would never change it for anything. Chapter 2, Parent Love. My parents were both born in Vietnam in a poor family and both came to the United States in search for a better life for, that, for themselves and their future children. And that is exactly what they did. They gave me and my brother a very comfortable living situation. My parents also allowed us to travel to multiple places around the United States. They had given us everything we could ever need and more. Chapter 3, Never Made It to the NFL One of the lessons I learned as I grew up was that money is not everything. Of course when I was young, I dreamed of being a baller with a lot of money, but as I grew up, I realized that just a good set of friends and family is all you really need to be happy. My mom is the one who taught me this lesson. Chapter 4, Happiest Place on Earth No, my happiest place is not Disneyland, even though I do occasionally enjoy it. My happiest place is New York, and it is my second home. Almost every year I go to visit my family, and me, my cousins, and brother explore the city using public transportation. When I'm in New York, I'm really the happiest person alive. Chapter 5, Jay. Yes, I am my mama's boy. She is the most important person in my life. She is my birth giver and is the person I look for when I am in need of advice. I am at her for her strength when she tells me the struggles of her childhood since she lived through the Vietnam War. All in all, she supports in all that I do and pushes me to be the best person I can be. Chapter 6, A Recovering Jerk. In life, you must learn to overcome your flaws. It can be hard to admit you have flaws at first, but by acknowledging them, you can allow yourself to become a better person. As a child, I admit I was mean and competitive, but I learned to overcome these traits, and now I'm a better person because of that. Chapter 7, Dream Big. Adults have a very important role in their lives. They raise us to who we are today. The most important adults in my life are my parents. My parents have taught me to never give up on anything. And when I was put down, they taught me to try 10 times harder to achieve my goal. Chapter 8, Never Give Up. Throughout our lifetimes, we are faced with many challenges. One of the challenges I faced this year was track. This was my first year in track, and I was a decent trainer. But halfway through the season, I, I got shit points. Instead of sitting out at practice, I decided to run an eight because I wanted to get faster no matter the pain. Big, small ways, big hips, cut, pace. Forgive me, but you look for me. Chapter 9, Tigger or Eeyore. During your lifetime, you'll meet people who are optimistic or pessimistic, aka a Tigger or an Eeyore. At times, I can be pessimistic, or at other times, I can be optimistic. I feel like I am in the middle, so I do not identify as a Tigger or an Eeyore. She's the latest model, but these hoes retro. One in a million, but these bitches special. Chapter 10, Dreams Will Come True. My advice to anyone is don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. You should always follow your dreams no matter what anyone says or thinks about it. And if no one else believes in you, 
that doesn't matter as long as you believe in yourself. Got a lot of wipes, more than a morning. CNCs, I ain't even performing. But we met in a life when we were both cats. Our owners were neighbors, how funny is that? What's funnier is yours had eight different cats. Same shade of black, and I'm blind as a bat.